Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record MIDI notes with your voice in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is let's say you're in a situation where you want to record a melody and you don't know how to play it on a keyboard. You just want to sing it and then use it as MIDI data to control your synth or VST instrument. Or maybe you don't have a MIDI controller. We can input data or melodies with this method. So let me show you how it works. Let's start with a new track. I'll name it MIDI Voice. Let's give it a color. Something like this. We'll set the input where our mic is plugged into. For me, it's right here. We'll put it into record. Make sure we have level over here and turn on input monitoring over here. This way we hear the mic through our track. So now we're going to add a plugin to this track right here. We'll go to the Reaper effects and choose Reattune. Now this plugin is normally used to tune vocals, but it can also process our voice, tell what note we're hitting, and send MIDI output based on that note with this checkbox. Then I want to turn off my microphone and we could do that with a volume plugin. We'll search volume, choose this one right here and turn the microphone off. So we're not hearing it anymore, but we're still outputting MIDI based on the note we're singing right here. Let's float this over here just so we could see it the whole time. And now we need a sound to play. Let's keep it simple with a synth. I'm going to choose the Rhea synth right here. Bring down the volume to start. Let's make it a sawtooth wave and bring it up. And we should be hearing that synth based on the note we're singing. Now to make it more complex, we can add any instrument we prefer. Let's remove this one. Let's add an effects chain I saved called Voice Effects by Serum, which looks like this, and it sounds like this. So we could sing any melody into the synth and it's going to play that melody with this sound. Now, if we want to mix our voice back in, we can always bring it up right here and mix our real voice with the synth. But for this, I just want to create MIDI notes that's going to trigger our synth or sound module. Now, to record this, let's choose a simpler sound, like a string. I'll delete this one and instead add an effects chain I saved called Octave Strings which sounds like this. And you can see it missed triggers quite a bit, but we can always fix that later. Now let's record the string part. Now in order to do that, we need to move some of these effects to the input effects. So they're gonna record on the way in. But before we do that, I wanna transpose this part up an octave. So I'm going to add a transpose plugin, maybe transpose notes. We'll bring it up 12 steps, which is an octave and put it before a sound module. But now we're going to move all three plugins before the sound module to the input effects. Hold that alt on the PC or option on the Mac and drag it over to the input effects. So now these are going to record on the way in. And just this one 
is going to play back later. So now we need to switch what we're recording on the way in. If we go over here to the recording modes, we could switch it to record output and record output MIDI. So anything we record on this track is going to be MIDI, which you can trigger later with our sound, which is already right here. So let's record a string part. Turn on the metronome and give it a shot. Now we can see it's a bit of a mess, but we can clean that up with filter notes. Let's double click the track, which opens up the MIDI editor. Let's filter out all the little mistake notes. Right click over here, go to view, filter events. And then we'll choose notes, length from zero to eighth notes. Hit set selection, and we can delete most of the bad notes we don't need. So delete them, and we can clean this up manually. It does take a bit of effort, but it's worth it in the end. A bit late. Delete these. Just clean it up. And just like that, we have a part, which sounds like this. Because it's MIDI, we could change the notes after the fact. Choose different notes or bring them up an octave. Or change the sound altogether to a flute. But either way, it's a great way of recording a MIDI melody with our voice. If we're not sure what we want to play, or if we don't have a MIDI keyboard. So that's recording MIDI notes with your voice in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.